will swell good. Right, well, the wind is more or less from Blackhead. Right, so we'll be able to at least watch an hour off. Yeah. Probably a main. Yeah, but I think we'll maybe put it into a third reef. What do you think? Just to start us off, yeah. Yeah, and maybe two in the Jenny. Yeah, just something. All right, so uh, will, I will I take us to wind then? So that at least we're not rocking side to side? Please. Okay, Annie off. Hang on. Whoa, Annie, stop that. She's rocking back and forward while she tries to decide where we're going. to this. Alright. Okay, let me just bring us round a touch more. We just drifted a little while the wind has changed slightly. Okay, start hauling. Side. I'm going to put I'm going to take her to port so that you're on the windward. Windward side, please. Okay, let's just run with what we've got. Maybe we should have lowered the boom a little bit more than we did before we put the third reef in. I don't know. But let's call it lack of practice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take us over toward Carrick a bit. And we can ease that me and out to suit ourselves, can't we? Yeah. I don't think that's too bad, actually. Um, you just need um, an hour on that. Okay, well let's run it out then. I have the farming line ready. Uh, this one is now. Free. This one's now slack. Point. Okay. Start with that to see where we go, yeah? Okay. Right, so let's see for the, the sound we like. Well, the sails are up. And now, uh, in the lines, which is always a constant um, job when you're on sheets. But oh, I'm glad we're only doing a small sail because Beverly and I just need to get into practice and into the way of things, really. It's uh, just one of those things, isn't it, Bev? Six months is a long time to be out of it. 
Yeah, I mean, so all we did was uh, a little practice run for the my new sail, and that was ridiculously short. That was a dead calm day too. Exactly. So <laughs> it was too calm for my sail. Right, wind's coming round. We just need to change course. Okay. There you go. So. And I'm also just checking that Beverly's um, got got our strippers in the right place. Good for her. I know, but well, it's uh, still a bit pitchy and rolly. Um, just still takes a little bit of getting used to. I think we're settling into it, so that's good. We've got plenty of reefs in the sails because the forecast uh, said it would be force two, and really it's four gusting five. So as usual, the forecast is fantasy stuff. Um, looking over the stern, there's quite a few boats behind us actually. <laughs> come out of Bangor so either we've forgotten to pay a bill and they're all chasing us down or they're just out for a nice day sailing. But um, yeah, it's good fun. You know, we're getting there. And we should be in Carrick in about, well, certainly within the hour. We're in no rush. We just want to get our sea legs back. But we're starting to get the um, the big ships. We've got a sten over there that we're going to have to dodge. And there's something in the distance away down there. And I think I can see one of the sten is super fast also beginning to manoeuvre down in Belfast. But I'll check the IIS and see what they have to say. Um, maybe get the binoculars out. Have a wee look. <sighs> the joys of sailing. Well, it's all happening, isn't it? Yeah, we were very concerned about one of the, the large um, vessels in the channel, but um, it's actually left the channel early. So we must have fairly shallow draft because, I mean, we're on a rising tide, but, you know. Yeah, um, because um, we came out um, just, just, just after. after low water um, because we wanted the tide to go with us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's left the channel, so. So we're not we're not crossing the channel. So we're not crossing the main channel ourselves. We've got Stena Superfast Seven approaching us. The AIS said um, close to approaching about ten minutes, quarter of a mile. This blue thing it looks like he's heading for the anchorage or out to sea, and there's no other traffic. So pleased to say that the old AIS is doing its job yet again. Yeah. But um, we're, we're we're getting a luffing Jenny, aren't we? We are, so we might have to. Uh, we might have to either alter course a little bit or sheet it in. So, uh, but at the minute we're going perpendicular on the channel, which is what you're supposed to do. And quite frankly, what I'm quite happy to do. <laughs> yeah, I want to get out the channel as quickly as, as possible. possible. Take us back. Stand by. Ready. Drop. It's in the bag. 
Oh, those are great words. In the bag. Right, I've got the fenders out. Lines are ready. The lines are ready. You can see the markers up ahead. Oh, right, they're a lot closer in. That's why you couldn't see them before. Yeah. But more importantly, I'm uh, bringing the marina entrance into line with the windrows. No sign of the uh, sector light yet. Yeah, there is a sector light just outside uh, Carrick Bay, this marina. I can see the sector light. Uh, but it can be difficult to uh, see. It's just, just, just directly above the green boy, slightly to the right of it. Oh, I see it now. And we're currently in on the green side. There's a shocker. Um, but um, uh, another marker that we use is sort of like we actually use the pub uh -huh, and the um, marina entrance. We get the right hand side of the pub as I look at it lined up with the marina entrance. We're not far off. Exactly. But, um, but anyway, we're approaching and um, we're as ready as we can be. Yeah. Bothered. Looks like we've got on this one. <laughs> well, we're in. Uh, it wasn't a bad arrival. I'm happy enough with it, considering how out of practice we are. Uh, we could be a tad slicker on that, and we'll, we'll get back to our old ways just with a little bit more practice. Well, I think we're both very happy with it. We're in, nobody got hurt, the boat didn't get damaged, and we wind up exactly where we wanted to be. So, all in all, great success. Well, our guests arrive in a few minutes, and I have to say, I think Salty Lass is looking really, really homely. And, um, yeah, I think she looks great. We have the canopy up, so that if we need an extension, we have one. We're going to be having fish. Uh, Sir Prudence is in her prime position, guarding the fridge, and then she'll be very happy when it comes to food. <laughs> 